that you needed me Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Good morning guys, excuse the mess going on in the background is actually bed cleaning day, bed change over day. So I'm just doing that. I'm also just getting ready. Um, it's Saturday morning this morning. I thought I'd pick up the camera and vlog this weekend. We've got a couple of exciting things planned in, especially today. We are about an hour off having to, in fact, less than that, so I'm kind of in a rush, having to leave for the botanist at Media City. If you remember, if you've watched Dragon's Den, um, I feel like I've not even said hello yet. Hi guys, how are we all? Um, yeah, I think it's because I'm rushing a little bit, but if you watch Dragon's Den, there was a um, couple that went on with a pug and they basically do these, they're called pop and bark, like cafes all up and down the country. And they've started doing golden retriever ones and a couple of people that I know have got goldens went to um, one last week that they put on in Manchester and they've put on, well, they've got one on today as well. So. All the tickets sold out and everything straight away it's actually kind of annoying so i booked as soon as they released the tickets the first and only appointment they had or like time slot they had and then um because it was that popular and sold out that quickly they released a load more dates but it was two weeks ago so they released more dates beforehand so loads of people have already been and they're the people that weren't as eager <laughs> so i feel like today is going to be the eager beans the ones that wanted to book on straight away and um yeah so that's our little morning plans we did just take barney out briefly just to give him a little bit of a run around bathed him yesterday well he had a groom at his daycare so he's looking all fresh so funny isn't it that we do this with our dogs but um yeah so i'm gonna get ready we're gonna head over to that i feel like i can't talk and get ready at the same time plus i'm trying to use this viewfinder as a mirror which probably isn't the best probably not going to end up with the best looking makeup if i do that so i'm going to finish getting ready and then we're going to head over to that and then tonight uh myself and tom we're going to drive over to leeds and go to a friend's one of my friend's 30th birthday meals so we're going to do that we're just going to drive and come back i don't really drink anyway so that's fine for me i'll drive but um gonna do that and then we've got Barney here as well so we've got him to come back to and Tom's got cricket tomorrow so yeah tomorrow will be a fairly chilled at home day might pop to the supermarket to have a food shop and just have a bit more of a cozy day especially after what will probably be a late night tonight late for me anyway anything past if I have to be out and about anywhere anywhere past 7 p.m it's gonna be a late night for me because I'm usually winding down at that time um but yeah so it should be a fun filled day and I thought I would pick up the camera bring you guys with me couldn't miss the opportunity of recording especially this golden retriever cafe it should be so much fun um so yeah let's finish getting ready and I'll see you guys when we get to Media City in 500 feet into the roundabout Oh, 
one is absolutely cream crackered. Did you enjoy that? That was so much fun. Highly recommend if you have a dog, even if you haven't got a dog, we were sat next to two couples that didn't have dogs. They were here just for the experience, thinking about potentially getting one, but more just for, they're there for all the doggy cuddles. So yeah, there were quite a lot of people, I think. I think there must be like a limit on the number of tickets that people can buy without a dog so that there are still enough people with dogs there because there were loads. There probably 50, 50 odd, something like that. But yeah, so much fun. Um, so it's the Pop and Bark. And then we obviously went to the Golden Retriever one. What we're gonna do now this afternoon is make some lunch, gonna have some bacon sandwiches. Beautiful weather today. We're actually quite hot. I was gonna take a jumper, thank goodness I didn't. Um, and yeah, really good day. I feel like I need to just chill for the rest of the afternoon. Um, and then we're gonna get ready to go uh, over to Leeds this afternoon. If it's, it's half one now, I'm gonna have some lunch. And then half, half two, half three, half four. So we've got three hours really before we need to leave. Um, so I think we're just gonna enjoy some sun in the garden. Start to get ready in an hour and a half, two hours. I don't need much to get ready. Probably just add a few extra curls in my hair. It's dropped out a bit. Freshen up the makeup and a quick change of clothes. But yeah, lovely morning. What a morning. I was a bit nervy before. I was a bit like, ooh, excited, nerves. And um, dogs just distract you. Dogs just keep you company. Dogs are therapy dogs, especially Goldens. They're just so chilled. I say chilled, there are a few little moments where you hear a grumble in the background and you think, is my dog involved in that? No? Okay, okay, fine. Um, but yeah, such a good day. Such a good morning. I'm still got the rest of the day and then it's the weekend. But for now I'm hungry, so bacon sandwiches it is. Good old Warburton's today we're going for. <gasps> Streaky bacon. It is bed cleaning day but I'm gonna to have to do it now because otherwise, can you imagine I get back from Leeds tonight after late dinner and our bed's not even made? Isn't that just the worst thought? Regardless of going out in Leeds or not, I've had it before where, you know, you just, you kind of forget that you're doing a bed wash day and then you get into the bedroom at night, just ready for bed. You walk in and you go, oh, the bed's stripped. There's no bedding on the bed. <laughs> Worst feeling. Anyway, just before I start getting ready to go over to Leeds, I want to show you some PR bits. Firstly, that beauty of a dress. Let me show you. This is from NAKD and it is the collaboration that my bestie Lydia Tomlinson has done with them. This is her second um, edit with them, second range with them. It's a gorgeous collection, absolutely beautiful. I selected this dress myself. They very kind of gifted it to me. Um, and it's like a puff sleeve, very like high summer tea party style dress that has beautiful shaping and uh, yeah, this shoulder detail I just love. So just need to steam that and try it on, but I just think it is beautiful. It's a really nice kind of creamy color. You can probably see against the white walls. So yes, beautiful dress. If it's still in stock, I'll leave it linked. I doubt it will be. I don't know if you can see me over there, but I also got this. This has just arrived. And if I get it out of the box, it is a dog bed for Barney. Oh my goodness. I'll leave it linked below, but this brand has just started doing, they do like lounge chairs and things, they've just started doing dog beds. Well, I think they already do them. Um, I'll have a look and see, but yeah, beautiful bed. I went for the green shade and it's, oh God, feels really comfy. It's got like a border, which I think is what Barney will like. So yeah, I went for the nice green. This one's in the largest size they do, I believe. Um, but yeah, I think that one might go even if just temporarily in our bedroom because we've started trying to encourage Barney not to sleep in the bed with us, which he is kind of getting, he like, we had him outside the door for the first couple of nights and he slept absolutely fine. But then when we opened the door to so just have him like be able to come and go as he pleases, he stays in the bed for the majority of the night, but then throughout the night at some point jumps up and you know, well, we're just too tired to say back in your bed or I kind of actually the first night he did it I didn't even hear him get up or feel him. So 
Anyway, we're trying to encourage him to sleep outside of our bed and bedroom which is going to be a bit of a transition really because he always used to sleep downstairs then we started renovating the ground floor we didn't really have a basement ready for him to go in so he kind of came upstairs with us from that point then when the basement was ready the builders still coming in early doors and working on the ground floor i just thought oh, i just feel more comfortable with him being with us in our eyesight just so i know he's okay with builders being in and everything and because they usually get her about seven we're usually still just about waking up by like half six seven so anyway point being that he ended up being with us in the bedroom for quite a while and i do want to eventually when we have the ground floor complete and builders no longer in the house i ideally would like him to be a downstairs sleeping dog now having had him in the bedroom for so long i do miss him like the fact that we're weaning him out and starting him slowly but surely sleeping in the corridor, sleeping out the bed. I do feel like, oh, I want at least a morning cuddle. Um, I think I'll just get used to it eventually. And I think, to be honest with you, as soon as downstairs is done, he'll be fine down there and he'll just sleep soundly. Because he does, you know, if we've stayed at Tom's mum's house, for instance, he'll sleep downstairs and he's fine. Anyway, let me show you some PR bits. Firstly, this from a brand called Fussy Deodorant. They've got this new afternoon tea collection colour of their refillable deodorant. That was really kind of them to send that. And the scent of this, cucumber and mint. Sounds amazing. This just arrived this morning. I just had a quick peek as to what it is. And it's from Neom. And I love Neom products so, so much. So they have very kindly sent me a kind of little care hamper pr package which includes their new calming pen which i might take with me tonight because i'm going out of my comfort zone on a night out it's hardly going to be a night out It'll probably just be like dinner slash drinks and i'm driving anyway but just keep calm you know um but i love neon scented products anyway this is what it looks like i'll just show you the calming pen and then you just essentially i'm assuming put it on your pulse points the ideal on-the-go de-stress solution offering micro moments of calm and composure throughout the day and night. Lovely. It's kind of like a chamomile type scent, I think. I don't know. But anyway, it also came with a book. And this is just perfect. I am going to definitely give this a read because I feel like these sort of books I'm leaning towards now. I'm really enjoying. So Stuart Sandman restore your health reset your mind find happiness through breath work so it's called breathe in breathe out and um yeah it teaches you a bit about how important and valuable breathing techniques can really be and how powerful they are so yeah following these exercises in the book you'll learn how to harness your breath take back control of your body and mind let's get started gorgeous and there's like illustrations on the breathing techniques as well so definitely want to have a flick through that and then a brand called Marmalade of London very kindly sent a little goodie bag over which has in it one of their luxury reed diffusers, Prosecco and Juniper. I'll show you what the bottle looks like. Um, oh, it smells good. I can smell it already. Yeah, just very simple branding that one, just in silver. They also included within this bag and that's just reminded me showing you that bag. I need to get gift bags tonight for two girls birthdays it is one of them we're celebrating their 30th tonight and it was another girl's birthday as well so i've got her present i'm just thinking out loud here talking to myself of what i need to take with me anyway uh, in the same sense a little luxury votive candle this one and that's what the votive sized candle looks like and then in comparison the luxury glass candle is this size this all smells lovely, by the way. So this is the glass candle. It comes with a lid as well, this one, which obviously you can repurpose, reuse. I don't know if the white company, they used to charge for these. Do they still do that? I feel like you don't get a candle lid with the white company ones, do you? You have to actually pay extra for them. Anyway, and then one last item in this, and it is a little tin, one of the tin candles. Candles, I'm assuming? Yeah, candles. It does smell lovely, that it smells quite quite floral and feminine for me because usually i would never go for like floral or feminine i do really like this it's just very light beautiful scent i'll save that for summer 
maybe we'll do a nice summer clean at some point of the entire house save those for like treating myself to after i've done a summer clean to be able to pop those out and light them but anyway thank you so much to all the brands that send me stuff it's honestly so appreciated and without further ado i think we're going to try this bed in the bedroom tonight see how he gets on with it hopefully he'll be all excited that he's got a new bed and he'll stay in it and yeah, I'm gonna get ready and then head off to Leeds. I really want to wear this top, which I've not worn yet. It's from, uh, where did I get this from? Camilla Cohello, Camilla Cohello, something like that. So it's like a chainmail top, but I don't have any nipple covers. And I feel like that's a bit risque to go without. Obviously you can't wear a bra with it because it's like a little clip at the back. So I was thinking that with like really high waisted trousers big belt maybe even a blazer thrown over the top but if i'm not confident or comfortable wearing that i don't really have a backup plan i have to see i feel like this is too like day dress i feel like it's going to be because it's evening i feel like i want something a little bit dressier let's have a look see if i've got anything in here i was going to say leather pants but they're probably too it's probably too hot i have got a leather skirt but it's, it's like 20 degrees today it's too hot for that um, I think I will wear trousers because I've not shaved my legs or epilated my legs. I'm getting back into epilating at the minute, so you kind of have to wait. I've got this dress, but again, that's like a day dress. Um, it's quite casual as well. These Zara dresses are dressy, but they're quite short, and I don't really want my legs out. I think I might end up, or I could go for a shirt and trousers. I think I might risk it, you know. Oh, I've got this as well. Um, this is like a two-piece set from Primark. You see how gorgeous that brown is, really rich. So it comes with wide leg pants and then this kind of trench thrown over the top. So I could wear that with my glitzy top or even just a basic top, because this is satin. It might be kind of dressy. I don't know, we'll have to try and figure, it, figure something out. But that's definitely something I do lack is kind of like evening outfits or dress your outfits because i don't rarely do anything that's that dressy i don't like wearing little short dresses anymore used to love it all my kind of nightclub days are over i feel but something like a little satin body like that with some jeans or high-waisted trousers might be quite nice as well yes that one is from zara got my and other story slip on kitten heels some wide leg black trousers from Primark. My Zara body I decided to go with and I've just curled my hair and just kind of like pinned up the top part because it's a little bit greasy. So we're just keeping it out of our face like this. And yeah, this is my little outfit of the night. <laughs> Where's your dress from? It's rented. From? There we go. If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain. If I never try to get it, I can just forget it. another absolutely glorious day today so gorgeous i had a lovely night last night over in leeds drove back got back home about half 11 something like that so i had a bit of a slower morning this morning we went for a nice long dog walk took barney out he went swimming we got pastries and then i've just kind of got home freshened up a nice dress on and yeah it's feeling good 
feeling like a good day today um i do have a couple of bits to do i have firstly pulled up at tops tiles because i need to get some tiles for our porch area i'm just thinking i've backed in but this car probably needs to spin it around if they have got them in stock so i will take them home today with me um so yeah that is the plan first on my agenda tops tiles thinking black and white victorian we'll go and have a look and see what they've got and then there's also a and q here and i want to get some like molding like paneling things for our like cupboard doors that we've had built on the bookcase and on the media wall in the extension so i need to get about 26 meters of that something like that anyway i've got the measurements in my phone and then it's right next to a home sense and tk max so i might pop in there just have a little mooch um there's a costa as well so i might grab some lunch and then en route back i need to do a tesco's food shop if i'm gonna have room in the car for i think i will do just to get a few little bits so that's my plan for this morning depending on timing and weather we may end up cutting the grass this afternoon because that desperately needs doing i might get a chance to pop on and watch tom play cricket as well this afternoon just again depending on timing so that's the agenda let's get out in the sunshine <laughs> walk through the car park and then let's get back inside to top styles pounds later although to be fair that compared to what i've seen online those ones were really affordable so i think they were like eight pounds something tile um so anyway tiles are in the boot we've got the tile sorted i've just realized that i've come out and i've not picked up any grout or anything so hopefully the tiler already has it if not he can just pick it up on the day when he comes into town we don't actually have him booked in currently i don't think it's some it's going to be at some point next week because then the new front door is going in after that so that's why we're kind of like eager to get the front porch tiled because the old front door is going to be coming out new front door going in and they've said ideally the tiling needs to be done first and we are actually going for a front door that is because we couldn't get a um bespoke fitted composite we've gone for wooden and it's from a company called traditional front doors in stockport they actually create their whole frame bespoke with the light box the um glass above and the front door and it's wooden and it is primed so it's not actually painted and they don't fit it either so we need to book in a fitter which i've contacted today or if not our joiner can do it and a painter and decorator to actually come and do the like decoration of the door so it's going to be primed in like a really dark gray ready for a black which is what we're going to go for with the black and white tiles i'll show you them when i get home um and yeah it's gonna look good a lot different to our crusty cream painted flaky front door that we currently have with chipped red tiles so yeah it's gonna look good so i'm gonna head over to b and q now try and get the molding if i can and then home sense before grabbing some lunch to then head back it's half 12 already i'm feeling peckish see here been to B&Q and got a decorative molding for the uh the trims on the cupboard doors i also popped to costa got myself a drink that i've never tried for the first time let's taste it on camera oh good this is my first ever bubble tea i, I feel like it's a bit bizarre isn't it i feel like i'd like this no need for the bubbles in the middle because i feel like when you pop them they're gonna like you know when you eat eat a tomato and it squirts the juice comes out 
taste delicious though. I think it's like called mango passion fruit cooler or something. And then I just grabbed myself an egg sandwich but gutter because I've just remembered I got myself a fresh baguette from the bakery this morning. So I'll have that now but I'm just going to double up on bread. <laughs> Somehow make myself a nice sandwich for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to have with it. I could do like a garlic bread with it maybe. Um, and get like a little lasagna mini lasagna or something in Tesco's but anyway gosh it's hot it says it's 22 degrees Whew. not complaining though it's just about the right temperature for me I popped into home sense as well got a couple of bits this looks delicious 5.99 pasta di semolina di grando duro al lavorno con tartifu bianco d'alba I've never done Italian in my life, so sorry about that. It's semolina egg pasta with alba white truffle, and I love truffle flavoured stuff. So essentially, you get like it says to what, how does this say? Like, cooks in three minutes, let the butter melt over a low heat until it reaches a noisette colour. Meanwhile, cook the pasta for three minutes in boiling salted water, leave aside a glass of cooking water, pour the pasta into the pan, add the cooking water, then add the parmesan cheese, let it cream for a minute. You can decorate with some truffle flakes before serving. That sounds delightful. So, I got one of those, and then I've bought these before in the past and loved them, so I picked up another one. Stocking up our new pantry cupboard, £2.49. They've got loads of different flavours but it's basically a balsamic glaze there was the fig one that i was tempted for because that one's really nice but my favorite is the raspberry so i just got the one for now and then i also saw these uh zafloras and i never seem to see the scent in like the bargain stores anymore cucumber and mint it's such a lovely scent especially for summer so two pound 49 i picked up two of these um, invigorating combination of crisp cucumber sweet mint and refreshed with eucalyptus so yeah that's everything that i picked up from home scent um i'm gonna go over to tesco's now or just to eat my sandwich go over to tesco's and then get back i tell a lie one more thing that you're actually kind of balancing on i also got this knife block well it's not a knife block it's one that goes in the drawer now that we've got um like cutlery drawers with a hob in the island i've got one drawer that has a full cutlery wooden expanding thing which came from diy kitchens but the second one i left empty and i was thinking a spice drawer but because they're the only two drawers in our kitchen i feel like we'll probably need a second drawer for things like knives like this and like bigger utensils you know spatulas and all all stuff like that so um yeah it might only be like maybe half of it is a spice rack we might do half and half but anyway i've got this wooden insert to go in the second drawer and i might pick up another expanding wooden cutlery holder for that one or just maybe just buy an individual wooden thing or spice thing like i say need to sort it out but whilst i saw that it was only 6.99 i thought i would grab that um, and I quite like the fact that it's kind of a universal one because it's got that like black almost spaghetti looking thing which allows you to just put as many knives in as you can fit really so yeah I need to get the air conditioning on I need to get on the road over to Tesco's do a food shop then go back home and maybe sit out in the garden and enjoy some sunshine before the rain is inevitable in this country why do we talk about weather all the time I almost annoy myself talking about it but thing to do that isn't it I've been lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options every detail in my I did actually get some clothes from Tesco, so I'll show you what I got upstairs. I've just taken that bag up. But I also got these, which I thought I'd show you. They're on offer currently um, with Club Card. I think it's two for six pounds or four pounds, can't remember. But Puck Up Vanilla Chai Tea with cinnamon, ginger, and vanilla. Sounds nice. I never even realized that's what chai is. So I feel like maybe I would like chai. Maybe I should try it at a, a cafe, but it's caffeine free as well. And then this one, which I've seen and wanted to get my hands on. So it's called the Radiance Inner Glow. It's a new one, formerly called Cleanse, it says at the top. But yeah, look, nettle, peppermint and fennel. I think I'd really like that. 
I've had nettle gin before and I really liked that. So yeah, got that tea. And then just some Sunday treats. These are just the best. I tried to get some of those snowy and robed Oreos, but they didn't have the white chocolate ones. So went for these. They are delicious. And just some cheese. In fact, oops, I just bang my elbow. I'm gonna go back into my bedroom. It's nice and cool in here because I've got the window open. So I've um, only got a few things, but some really good finds. Especially this one, because this one was only a bargain price of six pound in the sale and it's a size 20. So I got this white shirt to wear more as like a shirt dress, even just like thrown over a bikini, that kind of a thing. So hence why I got the bigger size, but also they only had bigger sizes left in the sale but really nice quality it's got the double pockets as well it was 17.50 full price so i thought that was a mega bargain and then i got this now this is from the pajama section i totally think you could just wear it as like a shirt dress for during the day in summer so that's why i got it because i don't think i would actually sleep in this i got it in a 12 to 14 just to make sure it's big enough to wear as a dress and hopefully it doesn't look too pajama like i mean whether or not I'll wear it out, I don't know. But even just, you know, around the house, if we've got builders in and or I'm answering the door or whatever, it's nice to, like, have a dress on like this. <laughs> Does it look pyjama -y? I don't know. And then I also got this pyjama set. They do this in grey. They do it in a long version too, which I already own, and it is so comfortable. Very much white company dupes with the whole piping, shirt-style pyjama, super soft fabric. Now, I picked this set up in a 12 to 14 because i do like to size up in pajamas for comfort however this little tie here around the waist isn't a drawstring it's just one of those fake ones so the bottoms are too big for me so i am going to have to return this set and it's annoying that they do that because i would prefer the top to be a 12 to 14 the top fits perfectly but the bottoms just don't so anyway i'm going to return this I totally forgot to show you these shorts that I also picked up. They were 16 pounds and I thought I would include this clip and a little voiceover just to show you them because I didn't want to miss them out. I absolutely love these. Now I got them in a 12, a 10 would have been ideal but they didn't have a 10. So I will keep my eyes peeled for them but honestly guys, amazing, they've got other colors too. Yeah, they are the few little bits that I got from Tesco. So I think I'm gonna get changed out of this dress now. So I do think I'm gonna just get the lawn done uh, because it's starting to look a bit more overcast and I don't want to not get it done today. So I'm going to get into some like gardening gear. Gear that I'm not bothered about it getting ruined. And then I had a big moment this week as well. Look at what arrived. This was just a moment. I'm not going to lie. This was a real kind of, a kind of emotional moment actually for me because I feel like it's my biggest goal that I've ever kind of set out to achieve personally and work wise and that's to get a YouTube play button and it says presented to Freya Farrington for passing 100,000 subscribers so yeah this is a big moment this arriving I need to find a place where I can put it but for now I'm just keeping it um in its box and just keep keep having a look at it every every now and then i did actually do I, I put a photo on my like kind of community tab here on youtube with a little um like thank you message and everything and also a um inviting you guys to leave me some questions for so maybe doing like a q a at some point soon especially for any new viewers that i may have that want to get to know me a little bit more then yeah i will sit down and do one of those very very soon so if you do have any questions and you want to head over to that post to write them or message me on instagram or pop them in the comments down below within this video and yeah i will try and answer every single one which i know is a big ask but i'm going to do it a bit more quick fire and just rapid fire through loads and loads of questions so you get to know me so yes leave them below message me on instagram whatever you want to do for you to get your question answered. Now, time to stop procrastinating and get out this dress and get on with some gardening. God, I need you now so dearly. Cause I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying everything I can, but I ain't got nothing left. 
I do not recommend cutting the grass in Birkenstocks because these are going to need a clean now. But anyway, it's done. I had to basically just top it because it was that long. It would have just broken the lawnmower if I'd have just tried to cut it properly. So I've just topped it for now. And then either tomorrow or in a couple of days, I'll go in and do the other direction of the garden um, in order to get it to its proper length. Because obviously if you cut it too short as well from really long grass, the bottom bit hasn't really had any sunlight or water or anything. Well, not water, I think it's sunlight. So it's a bit, it's like starting to die. I am just planning on showering. Desperately need to shower now after that. It's like a workout doing the grass. And then a little bit of cleaning. I've got a couple of wash loads to do. And then I've got some editing to do. So it's nothing really vlog worthy stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed spending a little weekend vlog with me. Um, highlight has to be obviously the Golden Meat. The Golden Retriever Cafe was just amazing. Such such a fun experience. We'll definitely do it again. And uh, yeah, loved it. So anyway, thank you for spending the weekend with us. Hope you did enjoy it. Thumbs up if you did. And subscribe for more if you haven't already. I nearly fell over then. I'm like balancing on my feet. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.